Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, I ain't too far from England right now, so let me talk about an English boxer, and that'll be Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, right? Tyson Fury, you know, we've heard the last couple of days that the man was getting drunk, stumbling out of a bar, you know, and we make a big deal about it. Now, I ain't a Tyson Fury fan, but I ain't making a big deal out of the man getting drunk. I just lost for the first time in my career, and I got drunk. Damn it, I ain't really too happy about it. Now, we just know that Tyson Fury can fall into depression. He's did it before. Thank Deontay Wilder. We got him up off of the couch, and then he turned into, hey, some people say the best boxer, heavyweight boxer we've seen in years, right? So it's Tyson Fury. With Tyson Fury, we got ups and downs. He lost to Alexander Uzik, and hey, the man got drunk. What man ain't got drunk before? Not stumbling up out of the damn the pub or something different. Now, here's another thing. Tyson Fury says, hey, look, man, I can have three or four pints, and then I'm already stumbling. Right now, I can feel them. I'm the same way. You know, I can't drink. You know, and it's just not a thing I could do. So, you know, you just got to know where your limits are and just hand in your business. Now, the really reason for this video is, is Tyson Fury going to rematch Alexander Uzik, or is he going to retire, or what's happening? I'm leaning towards him doing something else besides fighting Alexander Uzik again. And my reasoning is this. Alexander Uzik is very disciplined. Alexander Uzik ain't gonna get worse because he's disciplined. Alexander Uzik has, has done things unprecedented in the heavyweight division, like becoming undisputed in both heavyweight and cruiserweight division, and he doesn't do that by fighting at home and doing any kind of diva things in the negotiation. This is some kind of stuff that you don't see. It ain't gonna get no easier for Tyson Fury, right? Tyson Fury also was in the best shape that he's been in years. Tyson Fury was also the reason why this fight was delayed several times, probably about two years. All of those mind games, all of those things that are in your favor, and you still couldn't beat this little old 215, 20-pound Alexander Uzik. Meaning, I, he ain't going to be in a rush to fight an Alexander Uzik again. So I don't think he's going to fight him. I think he's going to find reasons for these things not to happen, guys. So let's just see what happens. Uh, I think, yeah. I agree with Johnny Nelson when he says Tyson Fury might not take this rematch. If he does, great for us. We get another undisputed fight. But when it comes to Alexander Uzik, that's a problem for Tyson Fury or anybody else because this guy has this discipline and he ain't into diva. He's trying to make history and he's doing a damn good job of it. So that's somebody who you know, damn, he has no negotiation problems. I can, my, all my antics ain't working and I was top fit. What am I gonna do this time? And look, basically, Uzik won the damn fight. People want Tyson Fury to win. Everybody wants him to win so we can have the Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua fight. But hey, talking about being the soup being spit in, that's what Alexander Uzik does. So let's see what happens. If you ask me what I was leaning towards, yeah, I'm leaning towards Tyson Fury ain't gonna take this rematch with no damn Alexander Uzik. Question now is, what y'all think? Dumb Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm up out of here, y'all.